so we have the Sunday sunset. This is what we're going to call this. Um, we're going to do this every Sunday. Just a quick little chat, kind of uh, a little pep talk for Monday. Make sure we're on the right track to uh, uh, be successful or set ourselves up to be successful for the week. And most of all, just kind of spread some some help with what we've done, things that we've tried, tips that we've uh, used. Uh, maybe maybe it'll be helpful for someone else. So, I'm Dustin. And I am Tanya. And we are Sunrise Nutrition and Fitness. Yes, we are. So, with that, this Sunday we wanted to talk, last mm -hmm. Sunday we talked about making one degree changes. Or being one degree better every day. Mm -hmm. And so, with that, we talked about, you know, maybe drinking more water or five minute walks or being uh, showing gratitude instead of uh, starting your day off uh, poorly. And the last thing we talked about was uh, helping others. Hey, Jake. Hey, Crystal, Megan, and Afcard. Thanks for joining us. Um, but last week, the last thing we talked about was. Um, helping others and giving back mm -hmm. and so today we wanted to talk about being the change that you want to see and what do we mean by that what we mean basically is like in our lives we look at things that we want to accomplish or, or things that we want to do to be better and with that so like with your health if you want to you know eat healthier, make the changes that you need to, to do so. So, so something like that today mm -hmm. on Sundays, we meal prep every Sunday for our meals for the next, usually five, sometimes six. it leans into six days. Right. Um, and, and we do that so that we're set up for success throughout the week. So today's meal prep was actually pretty much the same as last week. Yes. We cut up a bunch of vegetables, put some seasoning on them, and some Italian dressing. Is it Italian dressing? It is Italian yeah, dressing. Yeah, Italian yep. dressing. And then we cooked up some uh, veggie crumbles for her, some veggie burgers for her, mm -hmm. some uh, turkey turkey, burger, turkey for burger for me, and of course the uh, chickens that we get every week. And we just... That's basically then, you know, potatoes and green beans for dinner. So, but, so we meal prep so that we can be healthy. We're guaranteed that we have healthy food and we're ready for the week. Hello, Harold. What's up, my man? What's going on? Eric's, hey, Crystal, you meal prepped all day. Awesome. awesome. What's up, Jake? For sure, my man. What's up? Jeff Ward, thanks for coming on. Appreciate everybody. This is awesome. Iggy, what's happening? But yeah, so so we meal prepped for, for our health, and that was how we know we'll be successful there. And then what? Um, another thing, you know, like finances. If you're if you're wanting to save money, you know, make the changes that you need to, to do so. And the ways that we do that is every week we go or every two weeks yeah. we go through and we budget. So we budget budget for the week. The two weeks that are coming up ahead and finding out where we're spending our money um, so we can spend it wisely and save money for the things that you know we, we want, want to, to spend do. it on or that we you 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 value what you invest in and we invest in our health mm -hmm. and in our fitness so if we can find ways to get some more healthy food or maybe some more or some shoes, we're always running out of shoes because we're always running or walking or something like that. Or even fun stuff like a new skateboard or we're uh, both hi. looking to get mountain bikes. Mm -hmm. You know, that type of stuff. It all goes back to being healthy. The healthy lifestyle is, is an entire lifestyle. And so yes, we, we have you know put in a budget, but that budget comes back to our healthy lifestyle and helping us be more active. Like yesterday we went on a you know four or five mile hike and we were able to do it with ease, but we have the tools and, and the money to do so. So so that's that's how we get to do these things. Sure. What's next? Um fitness. Fitness, yeah. So our workouts are I planned them all mm -hmm. today. They're all set up. We're ready to go for the whole week. So if I wake up on Wednesday and the last thing I want to do is go to the gym, 
but my clothes are already laid out and my workouts already figured up and my water's already full my vitamins are next to my bed mm -hmm. the chances of me getting out of bed are 99 times greater than if i don't know what i'm gonna do for a workout i don't have my water my clothes are still in the dryer and I don't really feel that good because there's I mean most days let's face it at four in the morning no one wants to go to the gym mm -hmm. but these are the things that we've had to do to help us be successful in our fitness right and it helps eliminate time as well so you're you know first thing we do is when we wake up our stuff is already there we just have to put those clothes on, grab our water, and walk out the door. Roll our eyes, oh, one more time. <laughs> That's mostly me. Yeah, but I mean. <laughs> um, even, you know, like if you just pack like your gym bag, cause you have to go, like you plan on going after work. If you have your gym bag packed and ready to go, when you get off work, it's already there. And it's like, oh, well I already got my gym stuff. Might as well go and, yep. and knock out 30 minutes at yep. the gym the or chances, whatever. The chances of you doing it are, are, are infinitely greater mm -hmm. if you're prepared the day before or the night before sure. uh, yeah the gym bags on the passenger seat of the car mm -hmm. it's a lot harder to like nah, drive on by you know it's it's just not it's just a, a lot better if you got everything prepped and ready to go mm -hmm. what's up Melissa thanks for joining us appreciate hey, it um, what's last relationships relationships yeah. today is my wife's birthday so happy birthday to you thank you um we have been ferociously working on some projects on the back end of things and so this birthday probably wasn't the most uh amazing but we got a couple things we got to do a few things mm -hmm. that were you know with legit and that's just sometimes how it works right but the difference is is every week usually on Fridays we have date night and sometimes date night is Netflix and chill or sometimes it's going out to eat somewhere or sometimes it's getting down and getting drunk at some honky-tonk and <laughs> catching an uber home like yeah we've done it all and and so you know birthdays aren't necessarily where we cash all in um, a lot of times you know maybe Friday instead of going somewhere we might have you know peanut butter sandwiches but I might end up with a with a handful of roses or a handful of flowers mm -hmm. and sometimes they're hand-picked because I don't have the money to to, sh to show like you know to purchase it or but, sometimes it's just going for a picnic sure it's free sure I mean it's just the little things that you it's taking a little bit of time it doesn't have to be an hour it doesn't have to be but, you know, 30 minutes just to, to dedicate time to your relationship um, and, and focus on that. Sure. And so those are just a few tips that we like to say. But like we, like we said, like the, the start of the video was, you know, be the change that you see or be the change that you want to see. So mm -hmm. if you want to be a little bit healthier, take them steps and, and, and prep your meals and, and, and start to make them changes. If you want to be fitter start getting to the gym, you know, making yourself go three times a week or, or getting them actually, you know, getting 10,000 steps in three days out of the week. And like, if it has to be, you know, maybe you struggle with getting up in the morning, that's something that I struggle with. You know, find ways to set your phone across the room sure. for your alarm or setting, you know, a few alarms just to make yourself get up and get used to it so you can make time for yourself to be um, reaching those goals that you want. Sure. But yeah, set some money aside mm -hmm. and, and and make sure to keep dating. And, and not only like in the intimate relationships, um, husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend or partners or ho however. Yeah, and... but yes, your friends, the people that are important to you. I, right now I have like 10 people that are actually pretty important to me that are watching this. And I appreciate all of you guys, uh, Jake and Melissa, Iggy. Um, I, I can't even remember who's all on, but... I appreciate you guys and, and, and that's the things, you know, to continue to work towards your relationships. Each one of them has touched my life in one way or the other and 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 that's that's what's important. And so sending them a message saying, Hey, you know, thanks for what you do and that's it. And and it helps my day, it helps their day, they're appreciative, I'm appreciative of them. And it's it's the simple things, it's the little th everybody thinks it's the five hundred pound bench press and the chicken rice and broccoli eight times a day every hour on the hour and the gallon of water and the 
it's actually realistically the teeny little things mm -hmm. like setting my clothes out so that I go to the gym and writing a note on the wall telling my wife I love her and you know putting 10 bucks away it might only sound like 10 bucks but 10 times you put 10 bucks away we got a hundred bucks mm -hmm. to spend you know well, what I'm I saying? remember we used to take our change and just oh yeah we would collect our change and throw it in a bucket instead of like keeping it around or spending it funny thing is we're <laughs> such nutrition and fitness nerds we used to keep protein tubs and fill yeah. our protein tubs full of but, change you know a few months or you know six months down the road you go and you're like well, let's go cash that in, and it ends up being money to go spend on a date night. Or, yeah, and the one time, it was like 800 and some dollars, yeah. but that was like a year's worth. But yeah, and so, like, it, it truly is just the small things. And that's, you know, I just want to be quick tonight. Uh, it truly is the small things. It's it's not the 500-pound bench press or the $10,000 in your savings account. Sometimes it's just a note on the wall and a handful of hand-picked flowers. So remember that. You know, start start being the change that you want to see. I appreciate everybody getting on. Juan, yeah. you're on now. There Justin, thanks for joining us. Um, I truly appreciate it. We've got a few messages. Some happy birthdays. Thank, Thank you, you guys. guys. I appreciate it. Um, awesome. Planning. Failing to plan is planning to fail. Absolutely. Yeah, you got it, Iggy. Awesome. Yeah, but that's all we got tonight. Um, I just want to say thanks, everybody. Truly appreciate it. And with that, as always, spread love and Bye, God guys. bless. <laughs> <laughs>